Okay, so I'm using the Streamer X. Dynamic Boost is on, whatever. This is the uh, podcast mic. Uh, the reason why I started going to the Excel bar is uh, with each Apple update, uh, you're using less and less USB ports, uh, less power. Um, I got like five cameras hooked up to it, plus uh, external one for another keyboard. When I have to recharge this keyboard and another external mouse, so I can use with the uh, uh, overhead protector. And, and I, I can do, um, uh, or the overhead camera. I can also do the um, um, keyboard over there too. So I have two keyboards, two mice, but they take up USB ports, two for Bluetooth, two for USB. And uh, what I've noticed with the updates, if you don't use your keyboard or mouse, like if you're on a long live stream, they go to sleep. So I got a backup. Sometimes you hit it, sometimes it wakes up, sometimes it doesn't. Then you get notified, hey, it needs more power. So that's why I had those, okay? Uh, Again, back to the mics, how does it sound? I think it's a little bit echoey. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it just doesn't sound good to me. And I've been experimenting with different mics all the time. I'm trying to get away from using any more USB ports because the only, I have three left for USB, uh, kind of like three. And each USB device I put on, it confuses the computer said, hey, you're going to have to let something off. So if I had everything on, all the cameras and stuff, it'll probably crash. So I'll have to re remove a USB device or, or something. So I went with an XLR mic because one was handy. I got a Streamer X module, which... In order to get it working with the mic, I gotta turn on a camera, which is the Canon R5C, and it's on a dummy battery. And in order to get it to work right, I gotta unplug the bat, you know, unplug the power. Don't have to take the battery out, just unplug it, plug it back in. Once I turn the camera on, then the Streamer X works. Okay? Then the mic works. Um, uh, that's why I found out how everything is like. Uh, I got a headphone connected to the Streamer X. So when I first turning on, especially when I turn off the uh, computer and then turn it back on, I get a different voice. Sounds like, um, what, uh, not a Daffy Duck, but a guy that's on, um, took a, a whole bunch of uh, gas from a balloon, make your voice sound uh, really weird. So this is the XLR mic. This is the Rode podcast mic. And that's how you get it going. It takes one less USB and there's a whole bunch of different setups, but it is connected to, a, uh, I have to have an external uh power source to uh, connect to the streamer X and then I have to have a USB port connected to uh, the computer which is the Studio 64. It's a Mac Studio, uh, M1 Max, uh, you know, studio. And uh, anyway, uh, it kind of replaces an Elgato Camlink 4K where every, all the sound just goes through uh, the USB. So I can use cameras for sound. I can use this for sound. I can use this right here. So besides the Streamer X, I can go to the LG Ultrafine Audio. And if you notice, it's real quiet, okay? And it's a little bit more echoey, too. Um, I, I've gone to the settings. And the, the thing about it is, 
when you go to the settings and I put it on and I'm going to move this over here. I don't know why I do that, but I'm going to put it over here. So I'm going to use the LG Ultrafine Audio. I'm going to put the input volume up. So that should be louder. And you can tell me if it's an echo. And I'm talking on it for a while to let you know that, um, you know, if I use the Ecamm Live virtual mic, it might sound different. Uh, even if I have it on the LG Ultrafine, it looks good, but I bet you it sounds softer too. I do have echo cancelization on, so that might be uh, the difference. And I, I'm changing from one mic to the other. So I'll leave it on Ecamm virtual mic, but I do have the Ultrafine set all the way to the right. Okay? So that's taken care of. So this is the LG Ultrafine on my 5K monitor. Uh, it's just like the Apple uh, Studio display. How does the voice sound? Now I'm going to go to a different mic. And I'm going to the Yeti Nano. Okay. I already turned up the volume all the way. Okay. Yeah, it's all the way. So how do I sound? If I get closer, how do I sound? So let's talk for a while. It's a little bit lower. I could raise it up. But you see, it's using the USB port. Okay. Um, the LG Ultrafine and the Streamer X are using USB ports. But that's just for, you know, communication to the computer. So, I'm using a USB port on this camera and on the Streamer X or the XLR mic, which is connected to the Streamer. So, you still have to use USB devices. Uh, even with the LG Ultrafine, one is for the picture communication, which is a fantastic device, but it has three extra USB hubs, which I'm utilizing right now. So all my USBs are filled up. I got two keyboards, two mice, okay? So as I explained already, I want to use less USB devices. So I can get rid of this camera, this XLR mic, and just use my original four cameras, which work, you know, which suits me fine. But I'm going to throw a wrench in there. I'm going to use the studio M1 Mac Studio, which I call the Studio 64, with an external mic, shotgun mic. And I want you to tell me how this sounds. So I sound a lot different. You don't see the mic. It's not in the picture. I got on a pretty tall uh, tripod. But I can mount this on this one right here, and I'll sound the same. The deep quality of this sound with this shotgun mic, and it's $99, same as the uh, XLR one, okay? But you've got to get different devices working with the XLR. With the Yeti Nanu or any other USB microphone, you know, you're using a USB port, and I want to get away with it. So if I take away the Streamer X, and I love this camera, all right, but if I take this away, because I it has to be plugged in to outlet to run the Streamer X, and then I use another USB cable to connect to uh, the computer, I got another USB port that I've tried connecting stuff to, and nothing works with it. So I don't know what that's used for. Maybe for USB headphones? And it does have an HDMI uh, throughput also on this thing. So maybe I can have an external monitor also included with the Streamer X, which makes it kind of a neat portable thing. The only problem with that is you got to power for your laptop. You got to power for the Streamer X. So it, it's 
you're getting too much equipment, all right? You're bringing a, another studio with you, which may be good for quality, but with just an Elgato cam link and just using the sound or like the shotgun mic on top of it, it sounds pretty good. So let's say Yeah, I, I, I can't do it because uh, I would have to disconnect the XLMR or XLR mic and use the camera, okay, for the uh, sound quality. And, and there is a difference. So, options. This is the external mic. I think it sounds the best. It's a Ceramonic shotgun mic. You get it at Best Buy. It's like $99. You can get the LG Ultrafine. Use the monitor. And I turn the volume up, so I should sound pretty good. But does it sound echoey? How does it sound to you? I can use this Rodecast or Rode Podcast mic, XLR. But does the sound quality good? Is it echoey? Is it crisp? Is it more pleasing to you? Or I can use the Yeti Nanny. You know, small bite, a mic. I think it's like 65 bucks, whatever. Uh, Logitech bought the, uh, the blue out, I think. So uh, it's now a Logitech uh, device. But uh, it's just to show you the different quality that you deal with. So I'm going to end with the mic that I like the best, which I can remove USB ports, you know, uh, keep the computer stable. So R5C, as much as I like, I can connect it to another computer or something or another studio, like on my iMac. And uh, so this gives me an option moving stuff but you see then I got a Yeti Nano uh, no a Yeti uh, blue which is uh, the biggest one which sounds awesome and it sounds better than this XLR mic so uh, I got options I can probably put this with a laptop but you know it's the same situation it is okay uh, this is a Yeti Nanu. I'm going to end it up with uh, this one. I like this mic the best. And that's why I've been using it on different uh, computers. Because it's given me the best sound quality. So that one is just off to the side. This one is directly facing me. And I got it mounted high on a tripod. And uh, you can't see it because I get it out of the picture. That's the nice thing about this quality also, is I can put this microphone all the way over here where no camera can see it, and it'll still pick up my voice better than... Um, than this can. Same situation. I can take this off and mount this mic on this stand, this DS2. And I'll do something like this, okay? And I'll give you the uh, quality. So I'm this close to Streamer X. And now I'm this close. And I'm this far. I would always sound. Still sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And if I get about the same distance away, from the mic, you still hear my voice. So, this isn't using USB. This is using the uh, stereo uh, input output with microphone and headphone jack on this computer. 
And that's why I decided to run. So, as much as I love the R5C, you're not going to see it anymore with the Streamer X. You're not going to see the uh, podcast mic. You're not going to see me use the LG Ultrafine uh, internal mic. You're not going to see uh, the Yeti Nano. Okay. So less USB ports taken. Um, you still got to have a monitor. All right. But, you know, the benefits of this monitor is I got three extra USB ports. All right. USB-C, in fact. So I'm going to stick with the Ceramonic mic. I'll probably put it on... Uh, this device right here and you'll see one less camera so thank you for watching remember stay safe keep smiling and i'll see you next time goodbye folks have a wonderful day